Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the D Diamond Select Venom Special Collector's Edition action figure. Um, I really, really wanted this figure for so long. And I uh, recently found him, and by recently I mean like yesterday. And uh, I've been dying to get this figure, oh my god, and I'm so glad I have him. Anyways, let's take a look at the box. You can see Venom on the side here. Really gruesome picture of Venom. Um, oh my god, uh, it just looks so cool. But anyways, on the back, you can see the other figures you can look for. The comic where uh, he first appears, maybe, I'm not sure. A nice picture of uh, Venom. With all the different head variations. Uh, if you want to read the read up, uh, pause it now. Okay. Uh, nothing really much to say, but uh, this is from Diamond Select Marvel. Uh, use your comic shop locator because it's fucking amazing. Uh, if it weren't for this. I would never have found uh, one of my favorite stores of all times. So anyways, I'm going to get this guy opened up. And when we come back, we're going to be taking a better look at Venom. So don't go anywhere. More coming your way. Stay tuned. Okay, this guy was such a pain in the ass to take out of the box. And I did it. And look what it required to hold it in. He got these... You got these rubber ones, and the rubber ones actually have metal, and the metal kind of melt, the rubber kind of melted and started cutting me. So, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's take a look at the accessories, okay? So, let's move Venom to the side. First thing he comes with is this little, uh, pack thing, and where all the symbiotes. It's kind of like an attack on him or something. I don't really know, but he does come with two extra arms. Um, they go like that. Double bend? No, single bend. Swivel. Now, you just kind of just want to... Okay, well, first move the arms out of the way. So make them scratch it out and then... Boom. Pretty easy, pretty simple enough, so, uh, there you go. Wish I could get this to face up higher, but... And to take it off, you just kind of lift it up. And his hand fell off. <laughs> oh, Not used to reviewing very complex figures. This might be a long video, so get, get, go get yourself some popcorn. Uh, he comes with two heads. Comes with the, uh... Tongue sticking out head. With the slime right there. Pretty nasty. And then you got the Brock head where it's being taken over. Now you can see like these two little scruffs on him. That's because I was trying to take him out, um, and uh, that did not work. So unfortunately, I damaged the face. I don't really mind. I, I don't think I'm gonna be posing him with this, but very detailed as well. But and he comes with two extra arms for the pack thing. He's kind of got a gripping arm. Or like a, I don't really know. And then a relaxed, kind of gripping. And then he comes with two fisted. Very nicely detailed as well. You can see the veins and everything, and then the fist. Now let's take a look at the actual figure, and then I'll show you how I'm going to pose him. Move his arm back. Uh, 
He's got this weird smiling face going on. Uh, and it goes ear to ear. And then he, you can see like kind of the wrinkles right here. Very uh, devilish. Anyways. Continuing on, you got a lot of veins and muscle going throughout the body. Very uh, broad. You can see the spider right here. Really nice. It goes around to the back. I, I love that. I think that's awesome. Um, then you can see all the muscle and veins going down the arm. Then his claw hand, which looks really, really good. Mean. <laughs> uh, just really mean. Could do some damage. Now, they are quite pointy, so be careful with that around kids and stuff. So, anyways, the legs very, uh, musk, very, uh, muscly, muscular. More veins just going throughout. Looks really, really nice. Very, uh, again, very m tall. Very. Muscular, broad. Just, oh my god, he does look pretty cool though. Now, to just swap out the head. Let me try to get in front of the camera doing this. Just wiggle it off. That's a really small pig actually, so uh, be careful. Take this. Ah! Hang on. Okay, there's no click, so that makes it a little heart-drenching. <laughs> Not heart-drenching, but like, scary, because his head could fall off at any moment. Now, here is the Diamond Select Venom. I just got that to refocus. And here is the... Marvel Legends Venom. You can see the difference immediately. I'm gonna remove my stand. Um, I'm probably which one I like better. I'm probably leaning it towards the Diamond Select. Uh, very detailed. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, but oh my god, that's just insane how different he is. But, uh, yeah, you can see the face. You, like, I really like that. It just looks so awesome. Now, um... Uh, I actually want to try something to see how it looks. I'm removing the head. I'm going to put on the one where you can see Eddie. I think so, man, good enough. And then take this. And it looks like he's being taken over. I think that looks really cool. Like, he's. Oh, God. Like, he, he's being taken over control by the symbiote. I don't know how to say it, but... Looks really nice. You can see the teeth growing on the side of the head. Right there. His face is pretty, uh... Maniacal, I guess, you could say. The spider does continue from here. And goes throughout. Uh, just that's a little disappointing to see how it's still that little end of the spider is still there. But still, the face on the pack type of thing is really nice. Now, this does not go perfect with this head because she's got this thing right here. So I'm gonna remove that. And yeah. He looks very cool otherwise. I would love to get a few more of this figure only to pose him in different ways because he does look very, very nice. He's a very good figure. Um, I would say get this even if you're just a Marvel fan. Um, 
I would definitely not pass on this. The prices are always different on Amazon. I found this in stores, so I just recommend this figure until, like, <laughs> like, I would just try to find it and, you know, yeah. Um, although Diamond Select is doing, uh, Disney Store's exclusive, exclusives, uh, which I really want to get some. Uh, there's Ant-Man, there's, uh, Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, which I would not mind picking up. I do have the normal version of Hulk from Diamond Select, which I will be reviewing very, very soon. But, yeah. Um, I'm not going to change its hand, but it's very easy. You just wiggle it out like the, like the head. But I think this hand looks perfect. Uh, now, there is the Anti-Venom. There is the Carnage, which I will be trying to find. Although, I think Carnage is like, what, 50 bucks? Um, which is a bit unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really know what else to say besides do not pass on this figure because he does look very, very cool. Now, I know I didn't bring the best video because I'm not like shot Miss Prime or the review spot where the camera's dead on, but because my camera is facing down, so it's very hard to do uh, recordings. Very, very detailed figure. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm looking up uh, Carnage on my phone. Okay, yeah, I can't find it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you think about this figure? What do you think about my channel? And subscribe for more awesome content. Not awesome, like, okay. Uh, and, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.